and Adam Keefe, an unusual yes. grouping of players for the Hawks. I don't know that this five has played together in the whole series. And you see one of the problems with that. Adam Keefe is not looking. Contact threw it to him. And Contact normally would have a Willis or someone else in there that can handle the ball better. Throws it to Adam Keefe, who is normal, naturally not expect offensive boards. So that's why that happened. The prop part shooting the ball very well. They have had a lot of opportunities here because of their ability to get to the offensive boards. They haven't been able to convert them yet. 11.52 to go. Opening seconds of the second quarter. Bimbo Coles is fouled on the drive. No basket. By the way, let me explain why they're all excited about this. Remember earlier when Cycli was fouled, his ball went in the basket. They didn't give him the shot attempt. Uh, they did give him the two-point shots. The reason they did that, according to Ronnie Nunn, is that he lost control of the ball, and thus it was a loose ball foul. Thus, that's why the basket didn't count. So they think this is another opportunity for them to get a three-point play. It will not work out that way here. From the corner, Grant Law scoring by bench player Craig Elo. Uh, he's uh, shot the ball very well, but he's played hard also. A lot of playoff experience. Cycli lost his starting job to Sally due to an injury. Manning spinning into the paint, not this time. Long with the rebound. He has three. Cole's penetration, pull up, jumper over Blaylock. Reasons the first one. Willis needs to get involved in the offense. That would have been an opportunity there. And then the other thing, the Hawks didn't score going the other way. Blaylock is four Blaylock. for four from three-point land and has 14 points. And the Hawks have built a nine-point lead, make it seven. Lice on the transition as Atlanta celebrated Blaylock's fourth three. Four thirty-three to go in the first half. Coles and Miner at the guard. Steve Smith up to the quick forward. Miners pull up jumper to advance to the Western Conference Finals. Danny Manning from the baseline. Hawks by 12. Miami on the run. Bimbo Coles blows by Blaylock. Pull up jumper. Oh, it's a 10-point nice. game. And Atlanta leads by 12. Biggest lead for Atlanta in the game has been 14 points. Two minutes to go, third quarter. Inside to Bimbo Coles. Laying fine in the first half. Had nine points. How he stepped his game up from regular season to this series. He'd have continued this pressure. Bad pass from Andrew Lang. And Bimbo Coles gets right by Watley, draws the foul. Have used that, and at times I think the Hawks have seen points. And even more significant in terms of Atlanta protecting this lead, Miami already in the penalty. Yeah, and, and Kevin Lockery's going to reload here. He's going to get his main guys in. That's a good job. Now, Coles has been able to be effective also off the bench for the Miami Heat. And here he is taking the ball to the hole against the big people. He stays up in the point. Brian Shaw has struggled throughout this playoff series, and Bimbo Coles has been the primary point guard. That's, That's a three. Top. Gary Bender, Dick Versace, the astute Dick Versace. We'll have that for you. <laughs> Dick having a good time in the playoffs. It's been an interesting series. Sally with the shot. And here's the shot coming from the other side. Coles gets to the basket. Sally gets the slam. Andrew Lang in for Atlanta along with Elo, Ogman, Blaylock, and Manning. Well, oh, that's for defense. They want Lang shot blocking the building. What happens? They go right around him on the baseline. 2.44 to go. Atlanta by 11. Elo trapped in the corner. Blaylock and Bimbo Coles. Wrestling for the ball. Ronnie Nunn waiting. And there was a 20-second call by timeout called by Miami. You know, that, that all free throws and making the big plays. And the Hawks have done that in this game. Must win situation. Well, it'll go back to Atlanta for game number... Five in this first round series on Sunday at noon at the Omni.